Dude, it's, I, I, love, I love Elliot. I love what he's done. 25 years now. And he champions, you know, independent film. There's, as he, again, the educational resource. He's just an amazing guy. And, you know, it's very hard to get films made, especially as an independent filmmaker. And this is the guy that, you know, champions new talent and helps make that happen. So I'm really excited to be here. I'm very proud to be invited. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. It's a great event. It's a, you know... The, uh, I'm looking, it's the 25th rain dance here this September coming, I believe. Um, hopefully a couple of my films will be in, because as well as Villainy, I'm directing a lot more. I'm directing an enormous movie. I've just, I can't even say what it is at the moment, it's so big, but I'm very proud. It's about, I'll give you one clue, it's about a boxing legend, and it's a true story. And that'll be announced in the next, sort of the coming, that'll be announced at Cannes. But yeah, no, it's a great event, great to be here. Elliot's a lovely guy, I'm so proud of, of what he's achieved over these years, you know. Oh, I've just done the Fantastic Beasts with Eddie Redmayne, uh, the new J.K. Rawlings thing, which is great. Um, we're doing a remake of The Crow. Uh, I'm one of the main villain, or the main villain in that, which is great. Give Them Wings, Bogeyville, Iron Gate. So I've got a lot on my plate. Uh, I've got about 20 villain scripts on the table. So I'll be killing a lot of people this year, you know. And I'll get killed as well, obviously. I always get killed, you know. Talking about the Crow remake to begin with, obviously you're working with a fantastic uh, young director on that one. Can you talk a little bit about that experience? Well, I don't know much about it. I'm off to Malta to do some rehearsals next week. I have no idea exactly what. I haven't even said the script. They're being very secretive about the script. But um, it's very exciting. I mean, I've got, apparently I've got a run on the ceiling. I say, can't you just flip it in post? No, 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 you've got a run on the ceiling. I said, but seriously, just flip it in post. I'll run along the road. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. It's very exciting. We'll see. I don't, it's been very, very hush-hush, so I don't know what's happening about that. Um, interested to see that Mission Impossible 6 is now in pre-production as well. I wonder if they'll call me back to electrocute me again in that. We'll see. You know. Fantastic Beast, um, a huge franchise to be part of. Um, what's it been like? I guess, I mean, particularly JK, um, I know she's been very hands on with this. It's weird because she, the, part of the remit that she said that she wanted everybody to be treated really well on the set, and everyone, I mean, I've been on a lot of big sets, but the catering on this was the best I think I've ever seen. Um, and just the whole ethic on set was wonderful. You have to remember that J.K. Rawlings came from literally nothing, written all these amazing books. I mean, have you seen the Fantastic Beasts trailer? It's fantastic. And, that, and, that's, and they're only, I don't know, about a third of the way in post. So I think there'll be more trailers released. But it's just a wonderful franchise. And, you know, Daniel Radcliffe was great as Harry Potter, but he was an unknown. And he sort of came through and he became Harry Potter. Whereas Eddie Redmayne is already a brilliant and wonderful and established actor. So he brings so much more weight to the franchise. Uh, not more than Daniel, because Daniel was Harry, but he brings this new kind of weight to bringing the, you know, bringing the, the, the prequel. This is basically the prequel to Harry Potter, bringing it forward and making it very interesting. I was so honored to work with Eddie. He's such a humble, lovely guy and a really, a brilliant act to watch, a brilliant actor to work with, you know, fantastic. I mean, he's a fantastic actor. We've seen little snippets, obviously, as him as, as new. Um, what do you think fans can expect from the character, though? Because I think um, we still kind of don't really know exactly what kind of a hero he's going to be. Well, they're trying to keep that. I mean, the film was actually codenamed Boswell for a long time. It wasn't even called. When I first got booked for it, I didn't even know what it was. That's, that's how secretive they were. Um, it's difficult to say exactly what his character is, but it's he's... He's very, very clever, and he's, uh, he's has a few unfortunate things that have happened to him. And it's just, it really is, I hate to say it, but could it be more magical than Harry Potter? I think it is. The way it's crafted, it has so much finesse. It's just beautiful. Really, every frame is beautiful. It's, it's going to be a wonderful piece. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Do you think, again, it's a good thing that they've got a backbone of British talent in the film? Obviously, yourself, Eddie, and Colin Farrell as well. Yeah, no, a lot of, lot of British, well, Irish, don't forget. Uh, remember, I'm half Irish and half Sicilian, so I'm born in the East End, you know. But, uh, yeah, no, a lot of British talent. And it's, it's so wonderful that they're still making these huge films here. I mean, they could. this is, this is basically a, a huge American, I mean, it's um, American f funded, of course, but they're still shooting here, and it's great to see the British industry alive and well. Where you know Pinewood is always busy, Leavesden or now Warner Brothers Studios is always busy, Shepperton's always busy. So the British industry is, you know, film industry is alive and well for sure.